start of the ninth century, warfare between city-states has thrown the Maya world into chaos. As city-states continue to conquer each other, nobles from the region flee for their lives. Many take refuge in a growing city-state called Conquen. So Conquen is built to be defended. Located on high ground, surrounded by a bend on the river below, the only entry into the city is a narrow isthmus. So they build an earthen defensive wall topped with wooden palisades to protect the city. And it's here, around 800 AD, that a group of mysterious invaders, most likely from a rival city-state, attack. The defensive walls are breached, and the attackers storm toward their ultimate goal, the royal palace. The invaders swarm through the city, killing anybody that stands in their way. They make for the royal palace and cut down any elite guard that stands before them. The king and queen are captured, but with full honors and regalia, are ritually executed. However, the royal bloodline must be eliminated, and the invaders are not done yet. What they do next marks another major shift in Maya warfare. The members of the rest of the royal court are led here to a cistern meant for religious purification. But a thousand years later, it's the site of a gruesome discovery. So we start digging, and it's all filled with skeletons. It's all filled with, with one after another after another. It was just, you know, I didn't know what to do. How many skeletons did you, did you come to? In out here, of there's 31. Wow. This is a heck of a find for you guys. They say this is the most important osteological found that's ever been made in the Maya area. Wow. The preserved skeletons reveal that these nobles were killed with spears thrust through the neck, instantly severing the spinal column. And by dumping the bodies here, the invaders pollute the city's water supply and effectively kill the entire city. This is a major shift in warfare. Instead of conquering Conquen, the invaders wanted to completely destroy it. Wipe it off the map. What does this say about the way warfare kind of changed in the Maya world? I mean, that's, a really, that's really different, isn't it? Oh, yeah. You've gone from a highly ritualized warfare to then more serious warfare. You get chaos, really, like, like apocalyptic stuff. Maya war for conquest has now become war for annihilation. And archaeologists believe this type of warfare spreads to the rest of the Maya world. Maya city-states across the region fall. Why? Social structures and environmental factors play a part. But evidence now suggests that this change in the Maya warrior culture pushed them to collapse. By 900 AD, most of the great Maya cities are abandoned, eventually swallowed up by the jungle. <laughs>